I say, turn off that shit. But why? Because goths only listen to goth music, and only the posers dispute this. Whoever told you that? Sure, it might be the roots, the core, the fundamental focus and all, but... But goth is changing! It's whatever you want it to be because I say so! You're an elitist if you disagree! <laughs> I don't want to sound like a South Park character at this point, but are we really doing this again? Hello, YouTube's Zach Nafi and Aconite here. When it comes to the internet, honestly, I think we've got bigger problems to worry about than what's goth or not, especially with COPPA going on, but frankly, this is an issue honestly not enough people are talking about. I, I only know of like one or two other people that have addressed this. Uh, not that I want to name names, but... Did, did no one else grow up watching anything like Between the Lions or The Book of Virtues? Was that just me? Did I imagine those shows? Did I imagine the fact that who, what makes you who you are is what's inside that counts? Did I imagine that... <sighs> Looks later, character is key. It's a phrase I live by, and it's honestly a phrase that more people in this world should be living by. That's not just me trying to be all hoity-toity, toot my own horn, whatever the fuck. It's just a basic life lesson. And sometimes you learn it the hard way, sometimes you don't. But! It's better to learn from somebody else's errors than in making your own little by little through life. So that's, pro pro that's part of why I'm making this video is... With, with an intro like that, uh, the, honestly, that head spin, it, it was only one take, but it's been a while since I've been headbanging, you know, as a teenager, after discovering the Lost Boys or whatever the hell, I was doing it almost all the time. Not that I ever had this much hair to do it with as a boy, but it's whatever now. Especially since that's not even a stereotypically goth thing to do, like at all. It is music-based, of course, but it's its own genre of music. Don't leave it up to some nebulous, you know, th no other subculture does this. If somebody left country music up to speculation on what it may or may not be, and it was whatever you wanted it to be, it wouldn't be a genre, it'd be insanity. You've got YouTubers like fucking Johnny Cringe picking on Heartless Harpy, a 16-year-old kid who, um, th this guy's easily only a couple of years older than me. And he's got a fa you know, he's got kids of his own. How much more hypocritical could you possibly get? I know his dumb ass isn't going to tolerate anyone talking shit about his kids. He probably doesn't even show them in his videos. And it's people like him that seem to think that there's, you know, something more than music going on. Because it's so significant and it's so, you know... Uh, for, he, he talks about punk like this, for example. He thinks that it's all about morals or whatever the fuck. Not if you claim that it's all about anarchy. That's the antithesis of morality. What fucking pink-haired, mohawk-wearing, dumbass guru, uh, pseudo-guru do you see sitting on a mountain writing out an entire Bible for punk? Honestly, with the state of our subculture in goth, we need somebody like that at this point. But, you know, I'm digressing here. It's an issue that, honestly, I just don't even feel like addressing anymore because I've addressed it as many times as I have. I've got my video of goth as a music subculture up. It's been up. It's barely got over 100 views. And somehow when I mentioned Jig Monroe in one of my rants, that got like, what, half a thousand? Why? I don't even... Yeah, no, I just, I, I really don't like having to name names, but I do like calling people out, especially for stupid fucking shit. And I realize that I could definitely be a little less profane about it. I've been working on that for a while now, or at least I've been trying to, but it, it's whatever, man. I mean, when it comes to music content, literally 
little to no one even gives a flying pile anymore. Nobody, you know... A lot of the time when you see this kind of shit on Instagram, it's mostly um, just hashtags out the wazoo of whatever... Um, goth hashtags, it could be, it could be anything, really, it could be, you know, goth goth, goth girl, goth whatever the fuck, and, um, but it wouldn't surprise me one bit if there was actually a hashtag called goth whatever the fuck at this point. Does nobody watch Angela Benedict? If anyone's gonna know anything about the goth subculture, or any music subculture for that matter, take it from an elder, take it from someone who was there. Especially someone who was there before you were even a fucking, you know, plan. Really. Really. I'm 23 as this is being recorded. I started YouTube five years ago. I've been on Gothic Amino for three years, and I've seen the decline. Little to no one gives two flying piles about the music anymore, and if they do, it's barely even a glance. I... It's, it's almost chronically bad. I wish there was a solution. I really do. I might not even, you know, use this draft of the recording of the, you know, initial rant itself just because I'm rambling on about how bad it is. I'm not even coming up with any legitimate solution here. I'm just venting at this point. Venting and swearing. But, you know, I, I just wish that there was... Well, technically there is kind of something you can do. I mean, you could try turning people with actual, you know, goth music. A anything ju just looks the proverbial part isn't going to fly. You know, A anyone who's been, you know, rocking the fuck out listening to Alice Cooper or Black Sabbath or uh, Evanescence or Marilyn Manson, none of that shit, just because that... Just because it looks like a duck doesn't mean it's a duck. Just because it walks like a penguin doesn't mean it's a fucking penguin. The key is sound. The key is... No, nobody gives two flying piles about anything unless it's image. By the way, drink every time I say flying pile. You'll be comatose, I guarantee it. I, I'm, I, I'm honestly not even pissed anymore. I'm just surprised as to how many of these narcissists exist, especially online, which is where the majority of global activity seems to have migrated for the subculture. It's it's pretty damn sad. Attend to the attend to the clubs if you can. Go to them. Um, be you know, there was even a time back way back when when people were social enough to get off their fucking screens and throw house parties. Whatever happened to that time? Are we so social online that we've forgotten how to be social IRL? AFK? LOL? In this case, Lord of the Labyrinth? Running through each maze of absolute crap that we've walled ourselves up into? Like, what the fuck? It feels like the Matrix, almost. These people are stuck in their own little idea, their own bubble, their little cocoon of what they want goth to be, what they envision it'll be from just the aesthetic. They think, oh yeah, this is cool. They start pre-planning everything out. And then the red pill comes into play, and they're just like, oh shit. This is how the music sounds? It's nowhere near as angsty or wild as I was hoping. It's, it's, it's almost calming. What is this? What the fudge? Only I didn't say fudge. I said, fuck the posers. Because at this point, I really don't give... I, I really don't care if anyone calls me an elitist. I, I don't. Hell, I'll, be, I'll sooner be branded an elitist like it's a medal of pride than go around letting people just be posers. It's sickening, and frankly, it's just plain offensive at this point. I, I hate to be, you know, playing the victim card like everybody in America is a victim at this point. It's only going to get worse by 2020, but, uh, yeah. What can I say, man? You fuck with the bull, you get the horns. 
all these kids, these opinionated novices, I had to film that shit on my knees. All these kids that just keep pushing, claiming that they want to change the subculture into what they think it's, you know, part of the reason people like Jake Monroe or Social Repose or any of those dummies, these dullards, these fucking maroons, think they do, think the way they do about goth is because they're taking advice from outsiders to the subculture, people who only know it by the aesthetic. They don't go by the music, they don't educate themselves at all, they don't, um, they don't realize that it's just as distinct of a genre or subculture or gathering or whatever the hell as any other. They don't realize that it's just like punk, they don't realize it's just like hip-hop, they don't realize it's just like, you know, country or metal or, did I release metal? You know, gr uh, psychedelic or whatever, you know, it's, it's its own thing. And everybody, for, for the sake of their own identity, they want to identify as a trivial little, you know, adjective or t uh, label. <coughs> Titles are not labels. The difference between a title and a label is quite significant. Titles function like names for something that's more than just image. Something that's character. Labels are something as trivial as an adjective. Something you describe something the way it looks. Or the way it makes you mm, feel. Don't be that. Don't, don't be that idiot. Don't be that dullard. Don't be that putz. This is going to be a longer video, I can already tell. Shit's at 11.07 by this point. So, um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to end it here. Uh, if you like, please like. Feel free to share. Just give a little thought in the comments below, as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I love you all. And have fun with this blooper. <coughs> oh! Oh, fuck. I, I can't even see. Oh, ah. oh Jesus. I, I, I only wore one glove because it's going to be filming one side. Oh, shit.